My name is Mike. I'm a full-time media seller. I'm here at the storage unit today. Today is Monday. It's supposed to be like kind of a rambling video, but I'm going to switch it up, right? So today we're going to go over my weekly sales from eBay and Amazon Merchant Fulfilled. We got four or five on each platform. And I'm also going to talk about, you know, kind of what I'm seeing out there when I'm scanning CDs and DVDs, right? So kind of like a CDs, DVDs, tips and tricks when you're outsourcing. I get the question a lot, you know, because there's so much of it out there and a lot of it is just garbage. So that's going to be the video today. If you're interested, we have a weekly Zoom call for YouTube members. Links always in the description. We also have a members only Discord and the full length podcast episodes. Let me shut up. Let's get, we're going to cover the sales first and then uh, I'll give all the tips and tricks that I know of, right? So let's get right on all into right. it. We are going to cover the Amazon sales first. So let me grab my pile here. So we sold four things here, Merchant Fulfilled on Amazon, a little bit of everything, believe it or not, books, CDs, DVDs, and non-book media related stuff. So first up, we have, shout out to Checkmate Flips. He uh, is a big eBay to Amazon guy, and he recently started going out to thrift stores and recording his videos. He's got a YouTube channel, check him out. Um, and he'll scan like these little cheap garbage calculators. So like I seen it, and I was like, wait a minute, Next, I see these little cheap calculators everywhere I go, right? So all you gotta do, add a product on Amazon, type in the model, right? It says it right there, TI-34, you're selling it used. And uh, I picked this up for like a quarter and it sold for 17 bucks, right? So a quarter after fees, I'll probably make 10 bucks. So shout out to him for making me $10 because listen, I walk by these things in every thrift store I'm in. And if you can get them cheap enough, even some of these, you know, ones that look like they're not worth it, It'll be worth it. So that was the first sale. CD. Well, no, wait. We're, we'll go in order here. That was the most recent. Star Trek Discovery Season 3. Sold for $22. Merchant Fulfilled. Uh, I'm not big. I'm not a Trekkie. Um, I know a lot of people are. More of a Star Worms kind of guy, as Deb calls it, right? She don't call it Star Wars. She calls it Star Worms. <laughs> Just to tick everybody off. But uh, this sold for $22. Bucks, so that was pretty good. Next up, we have an American Girl book set here with the book slip case with all the books. Um, I paid, I think, $2 for this. I did put in the condition notes that the slip case it has, you know, a decent amount of damage, but the books are still in good condition. So I'll make sure this gets in a box. This sold for, same thing, right around $22. So that was a good flip there as well. And the last one for Amazon, we have... 50 years of hits george jones three cd set here better make sure they're all in here they're all in there thankfully this only sold for 11 bucks but cds you can find them for cheap right you're only usually paying like a quarter 50 cents a cd so even at 11 dollars on amazon believe it or not you're probably still going to make five bucks on a cd sale if you sell it at 11 dollars because the fees are a lot less because they're small items right so those are the four Amazon items. Let me switch over to my eBay page. Now I already shipped one because I had it at home. I did a bulk buy many, many months ago. I finally sold. I had a 17 CSI, you know, like the, I'll pop it up somewhere. The, uh, like the TV show, they actually made paperbacks. I had a 17 book lot sold for 30 bucks free shipping. So that's finally out the house. I stored it under Deb's desk, right? Well, listen, her desk takes up half the room, right? She's got this huge executive desk with a Shaquille O'Neal Shaquille O'Neal chair, right? So uh, we stored all the lots underneath her desk and uh, we got two left under there after this one. So CSI 17 book lot sold for 30 bucks. Let me grab the other stuff here. We have, I'm officially, uh, anybody that was in the Discord, you know, I posted the cassette, those eight cassettes that I bought. That's it. I, I sold the last two, right? So four of them weren't worth it. And, uh, or no, it was 10. Five of them were worth it and five weren't. These are the last two that sold, both Metallica, Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning. One sold for $26.99 free shipping. The other one sold for $26 free shipping. I sent an offer out on it. 
So I spent two bucks on those 10 cassettes and I made well over $100. So Metallica cassettes are a bolo to be on the lookout for. I'll show you guys the ones that didn't sell right now since we're covering it and I got them right here. So these were the ones that weren't worth it from the 10. We got a little ACDC, this is dope. I'll keep this for myself, I'm an ACDC fan. And then um, there was a Metallica one that wasn't worth it, Load, and then Aerosmith. Nobody likes Aerosmith cassettes, I guess. So those are the five that weren't worth it. We sold four Metallicas and one Nirvana. Um, so it was a good score, two bucks into 100 plus after everything is said and done. Two books that sold over the weekend. What did I do with them? Right here. So, Dune. You know, they just came out with the Dune movie. This is the book club edition, God Emperor of Dune. Sold for 20 bucks, free shipping. You know, it's got a little bit of wear on it, but it's always say, take a lot of pictures, put it in the description notes on eBay. Don't take one or two pictures. I always use at least 10 pictures on eBay, especially for the older stuff. So 20 bucks, I got this from a bulk buy, so I'm into this for like 10 cents. And then, this one here, I knew it was going to be worth money when you seen it. And if any of you out there ever came across this book, you would think the same exact thing, right? We have Military Law and Precedence, William Winthrop. This thing is like super nice and you could just feel it, right? Like this is a quality, quality book, right? You just know, you pick this up, you look at it and you're like, wow, this is going to be worth it. So I had it listed for 40. I always have offers on. Say what you want. I, get, I make a lot of sales through offers. And I send them out every day, right? So I send an offer out, I think for 35. So 35 bucks, it sold free shipping. And that was an offer sale, right? And the same with the one Metallica. So listen, I'm into this stuff for next to nothing. So if I can keep the cash flowing, then so be it. So this is a super nice book. Be on the lookout for it. It did come with a, this one also came with it, but this one didn't sell, but you can tell it's kind of the same thing. But this is from the from a bulk pickup, so I'm into this for like 10 or 15 cents as well. So that was, there goes my sales for the weekend. Good weekend of sales, I did list a lot. So now we're gonna get into CDs and DVDs, right? So I walk into a store, you walk into a store, and there's 10 million DVDs and 10 million CDs, right? What you wanna do? What I do personally works for me. I'm not a huge movie buff. I'm not a huge TV show buff, but I have a, a little bit of a knowledge base, right, of popular shows and, you know, just popular movies and actors and actresses, kind of just, you know, a little bit of knowledge up in the brain on this one. And the popular stuff sucks. Amazon, eBay, it just sucks, right? There's just, there's so much of it out there. It's mass produced. Um, you want to look for things, what I do, I look for, especially with TV series, I look for TV series I never ever heard of, and that usually does good, right? So let me grab some back here. I'll show you some recent pickups that I have listed, and uh, you, you'll be, you'll be, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. All right. Another thing I always scan is any family DVDs that are like multi-packs here, right? So it's, this is like four DVDs in one. Whenever you see the multi-packs, not the cheesy eight action movie, 12 horror movie ones, but the family ones seem to do good, especially if you can find like the Hallmark Channel ones. Even believe it or not, I have found profitable Danielle Steele DVDs, right? So we all know she sucks with books, but she has profitable DVDs. So that's, that's a tip right there. Any family multi-pack videos, always scan. Things like this. Never ever heard of this in my life. Case Histories, complete collection. All right, so another giveaway here with this one is this Acorn, right? Always scan Acorn. It usually means it's like uh, maybe like UK adaptation or something along those lines. The Acorn stuff does really well. I never heard of this. Of course, this was profitable. And of course, once you see that acorn on the side, you're gonna scan it every single time. So that's one kind of DVD publisher you always wanna be on the lookout for. Next up, we have another one here, BBC. BBC always does pretty well. Um, if you're gonna have to bet on something, this is another one, I've never heard of it. Coupling, um, this is gonna be, actually I listed this on Amazon. 
So if you have all the DVDs for the full set, right, there's only four seasons of coupling, you can list this as the complete set under the complete set listing, but you wanna make sure it's not the like collector's edition or anything. So this is just your normal complete series, DVD series, put in the condition notes, hey, all sets included, all the disc work and everything. So I listed this on Amazon as the full series and uh, another one I never heard of and the BBC is a giveaway. So you know, always scan that kind of stuff. All right, here we go. Manga, Blu-ray, DVDs, you're always gonna scan. Yet another thing, when you see this, you're like, what does that say on the side? I do not understand it. If you don't understand it, scan it. <laughs> That's a good uh, rule of thumb, right? So just scan this. Of course, it was worth it. Most manga is, at least that I've come across. So this is, uh, this is gonna be like another double whammy here. So we have Jack Taylor, another acorn, right? And another thing with this is it's brand new sealed. Anything that's new sealed, even if it's your run of the mill stuff, um, hauled by Hawley's, shout out to him. He used to be heavy into DVDs when he first started Amazon and he would go through and all the DVDs are like this. Anyone that was new, he would flip to the side, go back and scan all the new ones. So his focus was just on new DVDs and he, he's still probably selling those DVDs today. So that's a good piece of advice. Anything that's new, it doesn't matter the title, you wanna scan. And this is just a double whammy because it's Acorn, so we know, hey, it's gonna be worth some money most likely. Don't be go, don't, listen, don't go tanking all the Acorn DVDs, right, because of me. Be a respectable, and if you see me on the listing, then just wait till I sell, then you can undercut everybody. Um, another one here complete collections of anything right so this is the police academy it's got like all 50 films not really i think it's like seven films new sealed right another thing with the new sealed stuff you want to make sure it's legitimately sealed right so this is what it looks like there's always going to be that fold over flap a lot of them have the the white piece that says the title on top too if you see something like this and it's shrink wrap on the side and it's kind of got like one of those lines of shrink wrap where it was like fused together that's a big sign that it's probably counterfeit so that's what you want to look for if it's new sealed the fold over on the top and the bottom that'll be the giveaway that it's actually new and that's uh, a lot of the i mean that's what i got for you for dvds right if you're going to go in and you're going to scan every single dvd you're going to be highly disappointed you want to look for stuff you don't know of or ever heard of and if you're going to scan everything scan all the kids stuff kids dvds just do better i didn't have any in this you know batch but uh, if I had to choose like to go in and scan a certain section of DVDs, I would look at the TV series for, you know, Acorn, BBC, and then I would go to kids and scan the kids. VeggieTales does pretty well. Uh, a lot of the kids stuff does really well. So now let's get into the CDs, right? CDs that are profitable and I always scan every single time. Anything in a box. So you see these, these are like multi-disc, uh, basically, you know, sets of CDs. So these are all listed merchant fulfilled. And just to kind of give you guys an idea of like what some of this stuff is, it's just stuff like you never even heard of this. I can't even pronounce it. Like Wagner Salty, you know, um, Andreas Segovia, like stuff like this. This is where the money is in CDs. Also like old school, hard rock, I'll do you well. Uh, jazz is pretty good. Any old school hip hop will do decent. But your run of the mill stuff for the most part is just not worth it, right? I have hundreds and hundreds of duds over here. But anytime you see boxes, box sets of CDs, you wanna scan. So that's a tip on that one. And I got another one for you. Any ones that don't have boxes, but they're multiple CDs, right? So those ones had like slip cases, we will call them. But these are just, you know, multi-disc, uh, just normal, just normal CDs. So these are a lot of these are like old composers, you know, piano concertos, symphonies, overtures. That kind of stuff does really well, believe it or not. It might not move quick, but when you're getting it, you know, for like a quarter, 50 cents, and when it sells, you're gonna make 30 bucks. No problem with picking this stuff up. Anything that's multi-disc that doesn't have a box, you want to scan. Now, Mike, 
hey, a lot of them don't have barcodes. Well, you want a cover scan. The cover scan on Amazon works really well. If it pulls up multiple listings, you wanna make sure it's categorized correctly as an audio CD, and you wanna make sure you're going off the one with the lowest rank because that's the one Amazon is showing in the algorithm. So that's the tips for the CDs. If you're just scanning your run-of-the-mill stuff, you're gonna be disappointed, all right? I have hundreds and hundreds of duds. I'll grab a pile here, we'll just take a look. There goes a pile from my dud box, right? So we got, you know, all kinds of stuff. This stuff sucks, right? A lot of motion picture soundtracks suck, but some of them are really good. So I would always scan the motion picture soundtracks. It's gonna be hit or miss. You're either gonna, it's either gonna be worth it or not. But a lot of this, you know, just run of the mill stuff, for the most part, it sucks. But you're, with CDs, you can scan them so quick and they're so cheap. And like I said, even if you sell one at 10, 11 bucks, you're still gonna make four or $5. So, I mean, that does it for the video, right? You guys seen all my sales from the weekend. I mean, I can't complain about four sales on Amazon, four sales on eBay. Um, I'm glad those cassettes sold. I just took a risk on them. I figured it'd be worth it for two bucks. Uh, you guys see, you know, those little cheap calculators, you can look them up on Amazon. And there's plenty of money in CDs and DVDs, right? Those are my best tips and tricks for you to not be out there scanning all the junk and being, you know, ticked off that you're scanning all these and you're not finding no money and you get frustrated, right? You do, you had to you got to take a different approach. And if you don't have the knowledge base of, you know, what works best for you, then write down a list of, you know, just different producers like TV studios that are going to be profitable, right? Like BBC, Acorn. Uh, anything like that so when you go out you know hey i'm just going to look for this kind of on the spine so it's a giveaway for you right you're not scanning every single thing and you'll learn over time right you learn as you go these are just tips and tricks that work for me they might not necessarily work for you so as always i appreciate you all watching make sure to comment like and subscribe and stay tuned for more used book videos Bye bye